Hello, good night. Hello. Hello, how are you? I am. That's good. Okay, we are going to start uh, the week number two. And we are uh, starting with uh, this new session that is the session number five. And we are going to talk about um, a very interesting topic in which we are going to talk about time expression. So now we are going to start because we have just one hour to develop uh, the topic. So we are going to start because we need to hear a conversation and talk about the things that we can find in that conversation. So we are going to start with the document that we have here. And we have the phrase for today. Remember that I said in the first session that I like to share this kind of um, phrases with all of you. So we have the first uh, sentence or phrase that said, be yourself no matter what, some will adore you and some will hate everything about you, but who cares? It's your life, make the most out of it. So remember, uh, some people will like all the things that you do, but others don't. And doesn't matter, it's your life. And if you are happy with the things that you are doing, that's everything. So make the most out of it. It's your life. So we are going to start with the first thing that is the topic and the objective for today. So here we have, and it says that we are going to talk about time expressions. And the objective is, in this lesson, you will listen to a conversation where time expression are first introduced. So we are going to hear a conversation in which we are going to identify the time expression. And also we are going to talk about uh, what are the time expressions we are going to and uh, know some phrases that we are going to use with the time expression. First, we are going to have uh, some time expressions in English and in Spanish. Then we are going to have um, like a list divided in time, past, present, and future. And with some other examples that we are going to use in the time expression. So. Now we are going to, uh, I need to stop this one and I will share the conversation in which you are going to hear uh, people that uh, are talking about something in a specific. And the conversation is, I start work at five. So we are going to listen this uh, conversation. So we are going to pay attention to this one. So I need to share the sound and here we are. Five. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. So, we have this conversation uh, between two people that are maybe in the gym because we uh, see the image. And the conversation, uh, it's called, I start work at five. At the beginning, we are uh, knowing that we are going to talk about time. That is the main thing about the time expression because we are going to talk about time. Then we have the conversation between Daniel and Helen. And Daniel said, so do you usually come to the gym in the morning? 
we have that phrase, in the morning. And Helen said, yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? What time do you work? Do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. Another phrase that we are going to use for the time expressions. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Another one, midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Do you recognize me? And we have, oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. They are like very interested in the conversation that they don't uh, have the, this, uh, um, that meeting part in which they are presenting themselves. They are talking and at the end we can uh, see that they are telling the names, but that is not the important point in this uh, part. We are going to see um, what are the time expressions and what are these uh, phrases that we are going to use for this topic. Así que vamos a tener una lista de time expressions o expresiones de tiempo. Primero, vamos a hacer una lista completa, un vocabulario, en English and in Spanish. Vamos a tener inglés y español. Luego, vamos a crear otra lista que la vamos a dividir por tiempos, pasado, presente y futuro. Y vamos a ir dando ejemplos de estas um, time expressions. So, we are going to... Uh, see, so the other um, adjective that we have here, that is the part two, talk about the same thing. And it says by the end of this lesson, participants will be able to identify and use time expressions such as preposition of time and adverb of time. So in the second part, we are going to use preposition and also we are going to see something about the adverbs. But in this case, we are going just to use the expression. In the second part, we have preposition and adverb. That's another thing. So we are going to start with the list or the vocabulary that we have for today. So let me take this to this side. So we are in the document here. And I need to move this one to here. So we are going to create the list. Let me do it like this. List of time expression. Maybe, maybe some of these words are not um, kind of difficult for you. Maybe you know many, many, many of these words. We are going to do a review of this word, so don't worry. So we are going to begin with this one, in the morning. This is a very easy one. And in Spanish, it's mean por la mañana, o en la mañana. So the next one, in the afternoon. And in Spanish, por la tarde o en la tarde. Then we have in the evening. And also we have this one, but pay attention. It says por la tarde. But this one is used a partir de las seis. Um, in the afternoon is in la tarde, pero a partir ya de las seis is evening. Then at night, en la noche o por la noche. Then we have at the moment, en este momento. Then we have all day. 
todo el día. All night. Toda la noche. Now. Ahora. Today. Hoy. Tomorrow. Mañana. Tomorrow morning. Mañana por la mañana. Then we have tomorrow afternoon. Mañana por la tarde. Tomorrow evening or night. Mañana por la noche. Then we have yesterday. Tres ayer. This morning. Esta mañana. So let's see. Let's see, let's see. You will help me with uh, these ones. Me van a ayudar con las otras. So we have this afternoon. In Spanish, what is the meaning? Esta tarde. Esta tarde, muy bien. Then we have tonight. What is the meaning? Esta noche. Esta noche. Muy bien. Then we have this month. What is the meaning of this month? Este mes. Este mes, that's good. Another one, this week. This week. Esta semana. Good, esta semana. This year. This year. Este año. Este año. Good, este año. The day before yesterday. The day before yesterday. Antier. Ah, anteayer, that's good. Este año. The day after tomorrow. Pasado mañana. Mm -hmm. Pasado mañana. The day before, just the day before. The day the before. Ah, el día anterior, good. Next month. El siguiente Next. mes. Ah, el mes siguiente o el siguiente mes. Muy bien. Next week. Siguiente semana. Mm -hmm. Siguiente semana. Next year. El siguiente año. Uh -huh. So, let's see. Vamos a cambiar un poco. How can you say, ¿cómo podrían decir ustedes? The día in English. Y 
in daylight? Mm, yes, you can say in daylight, but we are going to use another expression that is by day. By the by day, the día. O en el día podemos decirlo también. Um, de noche, easy one. It's almost the same. By night. Good, by night. It's good. Día tras día. Day to day. Mm, kind of. Another one. Día tras día. Day by day. We have day by day, but it's not the meaning of día tras día. We have this one. Let's see. Day after day is día tras día. And someone said day by day. That is another one, day by day. That in Spanish is día a día. Then we have another one. Those are very, very easy. Estas son muy fáciles uh, for you. So how can we say buenos dias in English? Good morning. Good morning. Then, buenas tardes. Good afternoon. Good, good afternoon. Then, buenas tardes, casi noches. Good evening. Good, good evening. And then we have the last one, good night. I, I mean, I said in English, but in Spanish is? Buenas noches. That's good. Good night. Buenas noches. So in this list, we have just some example of expression that we can use to talk about a time. Tell me, Jose. Es una pregunta, cuando uno dice buenas noches, eh, me había enseñado que es cuando uno ya se va de una reunión. Exactamente. Yes, that is correct. In this case, when we are saying good night, is uh, like when we are uh, going out, cuando ya nos vamos, no cuando saludamos. In this case, we are going to say Good evening. Cuando saludamos que entramos a un lugar, decimos good evening. Y cuando ya nos vamos, nos despedimos, decimos good night. That's very good. Ok, gracias. You're welcome. Abel, tell me. Buenas noches, teacher. Hello. Solo una preguntita ahí para decir mediodía. ¿Cómo sería? Mm, in that case, we are going to use good afternoon. Vamos a utilizar el good afternoon cuando ya pasamos de las 12 y 1. So in that case, eh, para saludar, ¿verdad? Es ya utilizamos de una sola vez el good afternoon. I mean, ajá, uh -huh. tengo dos. Abel and Edwin. Who wants to be the first? Um, someone say me about mediodía, you can say noon. Ah, it's noon, but in that case, you are not going to say 
good noon. It's a, it sounds no, kind of weird. It's only for uh, take a reference. Could be uh -huh. at, at noon, at mediodia. Yes. Right? It's just the time. But in that case, when you are going to give this kind of um, salutation, you are not going to use the noon. That is the part of the day. But we don't have a specific um, word to say good noon. In, this, in that case, good afternoon. Porque es después de el mediodía, ¿verdad? Okay. Mm -hmm. So, here we have basic, basic expressions to talk about time. Son expresiones básicas que vamos a utilizar cuando eh, vayamos a hablar del tiempo, as we uh, see in the conversation that we had in the platform, uh, we have two people talking about the time in which they go to work. So in that, time, in that uh, conversation, we have a, a specific time. So for example, in the conversation, we have an, a specific hour, 5 p.m. So when we are talking about a specific activity that we perform in our day, for example, when we are talking about um, daily routines, for example, that is some a basic uh, topic that we can um, use to know people. In this case, when we are learning English, uh, maybe you have this kind of exercise when we, when in that case, when you start, uh, the process of learning English because I had the same uh, kind of activity when I was learning English. That is, talk about the um, daily routine. So in that case, when we are talking about uh, the activity that we perform during the day, we use this kind of um, uh, time expressions. So in that case, we use these ones and also another one, but we are going to uh, talk about that in, in some uh, moments. Then after we create the difference uh, about the expressions in past, present, and future, and also so, some kind of information that we have about the term expressions, we are going to have a, a, an exercise. We are going to perform an exercise. But uh, talking about the time expression. So in that case, I'm talking about the hours. Also, the hours can function as a time expression. Tell me, Henry. Una, una consulta ahí nomás. Por ejemplo, yes. cuando, cuando queremos decir aquel día, sería una expresión de tiempo también. Yes, of course. That day. Podemos utilizar ese tipo de expresiones, sí. Porque nos referimos a un tiempo específico, un momento del tiempo. So we can use that kind of expressions to talk about time. ¿Cómo sería entonces ahí en, en, en inglés? Aquel For example, día. if you can say, mm, uh, compré una camisa aquel día. O sí, aquel día. I bought a shirt that day. En aquel día, ¿cuándo? No sabemos porque no estamos dando una, eh, eh, un tiempo específico, sino que solo queremos decir aquel día. That day. Aquel día. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, now we have a popular expression of time eh, that we are going to use. And we have some words. In this case, we have some uh, words that we are going to use and we are going to divide them in past, as I said, then we are going to use uh, words that we can use in present and also expression that we can use in future. Then we are going to have some example of these words, but let me check this out, oh, okay. Then we have some uh, more uh, information about Preposition of time, because we need to talk about the preposition of time, um, that it's about some words that we can use to, to use in the uh, sentences. So 
Now we are going to uh, create this list of popular, popular, remember, popular time expression. We have a lot of uh, time expression that we can use, but in this case, we are just going to talk about the popular ones. Vamos a hablar de las populares. Popular time expression. And we are going to divide them. Time expression used in past. Estas son para el pasado, ¿verdad? We are going to write yesterday. Then we have last week. In this case, we're not going to write it in Spanish. Last month. Last year. A little while ago. An hour ago. This morning. But in this case, you can uh, ask why this morning is it in past? Because maybe we are in the afternoon talking about an, a specific uh, activity that we perform in the morning. So in that case that we are talking about a specific activity um, that we did in the morning is obviously in the past because that time has passed. Uh, and now we are in the present. So this morning is talking about past. Also in the, in, in the past, then we have a long time ago. Also we have the day before yesterday. Also we have recently. Recently uh, it's talking about past because we are talking about uh, something that happened in some time and we were uh, we are talking about that kind of activity that happened in the past but it's very very um short time in that case it is not like we are talking about 10 years ago it's something that happened maybe in the same week but it's something that did happen so it is past then we have years in 1991 when I was born, cuando nacimos, ¿verdad? When I was young, cuando era joven, we are very young, but we tend to use this kind of uh, sentences. When I was young. In this case, we are maybe talking about when we were child. One week ago, So in this kind of uh, sentences or expressions, you can uh, see that we can use um, a specific time like hours or uh, years because we have the, the 1991, that is a year. So we can use also years um, to talk about a specific actions and also some expression to talk about uh, something that happened in a short time ago. So then we have expression of time used in present, like in this moment. In the present. So for present, we have Today, this week, but remember, in this case, we are using uh, this week, but um, it's something that is going to happen in a really short time. For example, I'm going to have a migrate this week. 
when, I don't know, because I don't have the specific date, but it's going to happen this moment. It is not like we're talking about future because we have, a, that is something that is certain. Algo que es cierto, que va a pasar. Porque la diferencia con el presente y el eh, futuro es que en muchos de los casos el futuro no es eh, algo cierto. Es una idea que tenemos de algo que va a pasar, pero el presente es algo que ya sabemos que va a pasar y que estamos seguros de que va a suceder. Then we have this month, this year, at the moment, now, at this time, nowadays, this is when we are talking, giving like a speech, nowadays. These days, right now, and as we speak. As we speak in Sulatan is a rainy. That is a very good example. Then we have expression of time used in future. So we are going to see which ones are for the future. And it says tomorrow, next week, next month. So the difference in present is this and in future is next. Um, I don't know if Henry wants to say something, but I have Dennis also. So let's see, Dennis. Teacher, what is the meaning? Tell me. Uh, as, as we speak. As we speak. What is the meaning in Spanish? Eh, lo podemos traducir como mientras hablamos o en, en lo que hablamos. As we speak, en este momento. Mientras hablamos, está pasando esto y esto y esto. As we speak, it's raining. Mientras hablamos, está lloviendo. En nowadays. Nowadays, en estos días. O lo podemos traducir también como en la actualidad. Tell me, Edwin. <coughs> Perdón. En as, as we speak. Si quisiéramos usarlo en pasado, solo cambiamos el verbo. Eh, así como en lo que hablamos ayer, o así como dijimos ayer, está sucediendo, o quedamos, podría ser. Ah, in that case, we can say, as we speak, and we change the verb to pass, or as we speak yesterday. In that case, if you can el use... El contexto. Ajá, uh -huh. that is the context of the sentence. Copy. Mm -hmm. Then we have uh, next month, next year. That is the difference between the present and the future, the use of the words. Then we have in an hour. In an hour. Then we have soon, because we don't know uh, when, in the near future. in the near future, later this evening, also in the future, future. The day after tomorrow, Then we have the last one and it says, way off in the future. 
So the last one is, uh, we can translate it like, uh, muy lejos en el futuro, way off in the future. We don't know when, but maybe in the future. So in Spanish, it's like um, muy lejos en el futuro. So now we are going to create some examples with these uh, time expressions. So let's see, examples. A little while ago, I had a star to go out with another woman. It's kind of, I don't know. A little while ago, I had a star to go out. with another woman. And we are going to mark this one. Like this, we're going to mark all the uh, time expressions to see uh, in uh, what place we are going to write uh, the time expressions. Um, and we have another one. Let's see. We only got back from Scotland. from the day before yesterday. Then we have another one. But I don't want it like this. No, no, no. Okay. And it says, my parents were very strict with me when I was young. Oh, it's me. When I was young, when I was young, like this. Then I will take this off and next one. Okay. I can afford to spend any more money this week. Very accurate. I can't just spend more money this week. And we have the time expression here that is this week. So this is one example for the word nowadays that uh, one of you were asking. In this case, is when you are making like, um, when you are uh, talking about differences between a time in past and the time that we are living in this moment. So in this case, we have this example that it says, Nowadays, a lot of people work from home. Nowadays, a lot of people work from home. So 
So in this case, we are marking uh, this like, um, maybe we are talking about uh, things that happen and we can make like, um, you need to point out that it's very different in this time. So we are using nowadays. Uh, for example, nowadays the cell phone is the most used tool uh, that people uh, have in their houses, for example. Or like nowadays, the communication is very easy than it was in the past because we have the cell phones. So in this case, the example is very, very, uh, we can say that it's uh, the reality that we are living in this time that a lot of people it's working from home or in this case, nowadays, um, we can say education is through the, uh, the internet or the devices because we are connecting um, with a lot of people from different uh, places through the uh, computer or the computer screen. So. Then we have another one. I'm sorry, but I am busy right now. Right now. Then we have another one. I will enter my task tomorrow. Tomorrow. Then. We are going on a holiday next month. We are not bad. We are near, near, near the holiday. It's like two months. And the last one, it says, uh, we hope to move to the country in the near future. We hope to move, to move to the country in the near, future. So, here we have some examples. So now, tell me something. Uh, we are going to, here, let me take this a little bit smaller like this. And in this case, we are going to see just one like this. It is not, we are going to have all the expression here. So think about a phrase that you can use in this moment using time expression. Um, puede empezar en una frase, in this case it is just not like a short sentence. Uh, podemos usar una frase algo larga de algo que queramos expresar. Using time expressions, we can use time expression or talk about the past, something in the present, or maybe something that we are going to, uh, to do in the future. And then we are going to share this kind of sentences uh, with all of the participants. So think about a sentence, a phrase, something that you want to say, an idea, or something that you want to express. Piensen en algo que quieran expresar, ya sea un ejemplo, una oración, una frase, eh, una idea, usando time expression. I will give you just one minute to think. 
And then we are going to share the uh, phrase, the idea, or something like that. So think, 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 and use the time expression that you want. If you want me to move the document to see the other expression, you can tell me. Si quieren que les muestre las otras expresiones, solo me van avisando para mover el documento. So we need to create a sentence. Yes, with you need sums to, or when? Um, you can say whatever you want, but you need to use time expressions. I could say, um, and these days I'm very busy at work. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. have a lot of things to do uh, to get ready for the next month. So this week it's will be so hard for me and my partner too. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's the that's idea good. That I have now. That's good. That that's very very good because you use a lot of time expression in that and that thing that you say. And I think it's it's kind kind of hard, but it's something that we need to do. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So, is, uh, anybody that has another thing to say, you can uh, speak and we are listening to your ideas and your uh, opinions. Someone else that has. Um, they are ideas or opinions or sentences that you want to say. Nobody else. I think they are like shy. I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> you don't need to feel shy. We are sharing, we are creating. So don't feel like that. So um, for example, let's see. I will give you more time giving an, an example. Let's see. Um, I think this week will be very good. Uh, I think um, the work is kind of hard, but I think that um, next week will be very, very easy because I have all of my work done and I just have to enjoy the time that I have. But next month, I don't know, because time is not certain these days. And I just want to, um, enjoy the life that I am living right now because I have a lot of things um, that are happening right now and I am feeling very, very happy with uh, all of the things. But I need to change some things because it's kind of messy sometimes. But next month, I promise that I will change all of the things that I need to do. But right now, I am... A Pretty, pretty happy with the things that are happening. So now, after that example, someone else or I will ask, say in your name. And I have just like eight participants. Alguien más o lo hacemos de manera democrática? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Catherine. Uh, example is tomorrow is my best friend birthday. I have to see here in the morning. Oh, tomorrow is your birthday, or is just the example? Es su cumpleaños mañana o solo es el ejemplo? Solo es el ejemplo. Ah, I think that you were like celebrating your birthday tomorrow, but 
That's good. A uh, pretty good example. Another one. Alguien más que quiera dar su ejemplo? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Denise. My example is when I was young, was Simon. You were? Was uh, delgado. Simon. Oh. Thin or a slim. Uh -huh. Slim. Okay. When you were young, good. Another one, because it's almost almost time. Okay, I think not. That's good. That's good. That's good. So let's, uh, we are going to see the last part for the topic that we are developing. Vamos a ver la última parte uh, about the time expressions in which we are going to um, talk about preposition and time. Remember that we need to talk about preposition and adverbs, and we are going to create the difference between them because we need to know uh, what kind of words that we are going to use um, to create sentences. Remember that in grammar, it's uh, kind of complicated to create sentences. Um, sometimes we just uh, speak as we uh, think the ideas, but in, um, it's kind of complicated, a little bit, a little bit. So we need to talk about the preposition of time. Let's see, preposition of time. And what is this? So we have, or we are going to use these prepositions. Let's see, let's uh, write this in, at, and we have on. And also we are going to use no preposition. So we have in, at, on, y no preposition. Tenemos esas cuatro que vamos a saber cómo las vamos a utilizar a la hora de crear oraciones, porque tenemos tres y luego tenemos una en la que no vamos a utilizar las preposiciones. So, let's see. Preposition of time, eh, we have a list in which we are going to divide. We are going to have in, at, on, and we are going to have some expressions that we are going to use with that, with that preposition, I mean. So, um, it says that we need to be very careful with this uh, preposition because um, sometimes we tend to make mistakes writing on in a month. And in that case, we are going to use in when we are talking about month. A veces cometemos ese, ese eh, error, ¿verdad? Pero es bastante común, es bastante normal, y hasta ya se reconoce que cometemos ese error que para hablar de los meses eh, utilizamos la preposición on, pero básicamente tenemos que utilizar in, pero lo vamos a ir aprendiendo, ¿verdad? Eh, o oh, ponemos una preposición eh, Antes, ¿verdad? The next. Cuando no, no necesitamos una preposición. But some things that, um, that we are going to change. So, we have the first one. At. Uh, in this case, we are going to see which expressions we are going to use with at. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar con at? First, let's see. Con at, we are going to use times times and we have examples at 8 p.m. Also, we have at midnight. And also at 6.30. 6.30. So, when we are going to use a specific time, of the day, remember, times of the day, not like we are going to talk about days or months. In this case, 
times of the day we are going to use at at 8 p.m., at midnight, at 6.30, at morning, and all of that expression that we are going to use. So for time, we are going to use at. Also, we are going to use at with, let me see. Okay. Holiday periods, holiday. Periodos de vacaciones, ¿verdad? And we have the examples at Christmas. And I need to write in capital letter Christmas. At Christmas, at Easter. Oh. At Easter. Also, when we are uh, talking about night, we are just going to use at night. Then at the weekend. At lunchtime. At dinner time. And also at the breakfast time. With that expression, we are going to use at. Breakfast. Breakfast time. So with those uh, things, we are going to use at. And just we are going to write the next one because we just have two minutes to end the session. So on, we are going to use on with days, in this case, dates, not time of the day, days. On a Monday, also we are going to use on birthday because it is a specific uh, celebration. On birthday. Also, days plus morning. I mean, a specific um, time. Days plus morning. Morning and afternoon, even and night. Evening and night. But how? Como? Como lo vamos a hacer? Days plus. Morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Just like this one. On Tuesday morning. Like this. With this kind of expression. And the last one. Dates. Dates. On the 20th, on the 20th of June, like these ones. So we have at and on, and tomorrow we are going to uh, see in and no preposition and the exercises. So tomorrow we are going to talk about uh, the other two and the exercises. So. Um, it's time to end the session, so we are going to see each other tomorrow. So have a really good night. Good night. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you. Good night.